What's up, grade eights? Let's do this. We're playing. Get your instruments out. Let's do it. You have to. For the band, we're starting on page. Actually, we're going to start on page 24. We're going to do the uh, number 87 as our warm up to start. Chop builder. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. All smooth and connected. Make sure you got your fingerings figured out. Okay. focus on moving your armature around especially for brass players so we're gonna go back to page 43 at the back of the book so we can do our scale because I know you love it and we need to okay so B black concert major scale arpeggios and thirds and then we will do our chromatic scale because that should be easy for you no problem one two from the top Two, three. <laughs> Make sure you're getting your third valve slide out on the D. Um, you should also do it on the C sharp, I believe. Um, but we aren't doing that right now. But we will in a sec, because we're in the chromatic scale. Woo! Your favorite. <laughs> we're going to try it twice. Okay, first time, we'll do it tongued. And then the second time, we'll do it slurred. One, two, Chromatic scale three. <laughs> me to hear because I have to have it close to the mic and it's really hard to hear over the playing. Um, so we are going to pick up exactly where we left off last time. Um, and we are going to start with the Song of Remembrance on page 24, which is number 88. That was the last one we worked on. It's this really pretty minor key uh, little solo bit. I can make this louder. Um. Is it on 
Bronte? Moderato. Make sure you're familiar with all the fingerings, okay? If it says F sharp, it means F sharp. It doesn't mean F. Those are different notes. You have to do it. Otherwise, it sounds weird and wrong, okay? So we do have a repeat. It's a mezzo piano. There are slurs, no accents, no short notes. It's all slurred. And there's a pickup. So I'll give you a bar and two. I'm actually going to give you a bar and one, and then I'm going to breathe on B2, because it's very hard for me to count and then also get enough breath to play. So I'll do like, like one, two, three, one. Ta, ta. So you breathe on B2, okay? One, two, three, one. strive for a beautiful singing like tone we get really used to playing in a group then and never really actually listening to our own sound we're just listening to like kind of this mess of sound going on around us but the key is you need to develop your own personal beautiful sound and be aware of that if you don't then you you aren't actually contributing anything but just kind of a mess to the group okay so it's one of the main reasons I'm actually really wanting to take advantage of this alone time is that it'll force some of you guys and well not some of you all of you to really focus on your own sound and improve that um so we're going to look at the concert f major scale da -da -da -da. um um so there are chords at the end um I'm going to play this, I'm going to play this twice, um, and I think everybody has something a little different. I'm just curious. Now I'm just going to look at what the euphonium, whoops, the, the euphonium book has to say about this one. Mm, okay, yeah, everybody has something different. So you know what? We're going to leave the chords part out. We're not going to do the last three measures. We're going to put a fermata on the whole note in the arpeggio section, and we'll just stop there, okay? Um, and so we're going to do the concert G major, or sorry, concert F major scale. So for trumpets, clarinets, and tenors, that's G major. Uh, for our French horn, that's going to be uh, C. It's going to be a really nice key for you for once. You get to play in the nice scale. Um, and for our saxophones, that's going to be a D major. So you have uh, yeah, D, cons uh, D, it's a D scale, so you have C sharps and F sharps, um, and trombones, uh, and flutes, bass, and concert pitch instruments, oboe, this is going to be, uh, concert F, so that's only B flat, okay, only the B flat, there's E naturals, so there's no E flats or A flats or anything like that, just the one flat. So, let's give this a whirl, um, there's a really big jump for some of us. Um, some of us don't have that. Um, so if you don't, be, don't be surprised when I'm going like da, 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 ba, 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 ba. I'm gonna drop an octave because that's what's written in my music. Okay, some of you don't have that. Okay. <laughs> different 
different keys, right? The idea being it's, it's the exact same scale, it's just in a different register, right? You guys know concert B flat. So now we're playing in the key of G. There's a major scale, scale that starts on every single note on our instrument. Um, they're all different keys. Um, so you gotta get used to playing in different keys. So we're going to do exactly that. We're going to do number 90, which is Santa Lucia, an Italian folk song. Um, and I want you to take a moment and do the little exercise. And it says, circle the notes changed by the key signature. Okay? So circle all the ones that have a sharp, a flat, or a natural. Only the ones that are adjusted by the key signature. Okay? Take a few moments. Pause the video. Do that. Pause. Okay, we're good. Um, good. Great job. I'm glad you did that. <laughs> um, so, we have this adjusted key. Um, make sure to take a few moments, look over it. We're going to try this out. It's at moderato. It's a little faster. It's in 3 4 because it's Italian. And uh, as my teacher would always say, all music, all melody is either a pirate song or a love song. I have a feeling this one's going to be a love song. fast. Try it a few times on your own at a slower tempo. One, two, three, one, two. Oh, that's cute. Try that one more time just for practice sake. try and get us to the end of this page here. We're going to do number 91. Boogie Blues. <laughs> um, so we've got a bunch of accidentals and stuff. This one's got tons of stuff going on. It's got uh, in one section you're going to have a sharp, then to a natural, or a flat to a sharp, or whatever. It's got accents, slurs, it's got dynamic changes, it's got crescendos, it's got um, uh, a fermata at the end, um, and it's a big shift in range from what we're used to, um, and it's fast. So you might need to do this one a few times before you can kind of nail it, um, and it's up to you which note you want to hit at the end, because I'm pretty sure we all have a divisi, so you have a choice between one or two notes, okay? Um, so um, I'm going to try and play this once at a slower tempo. That's the slow tempo. Check the time signature and your key signature. Okay. Okay. Ta 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 ti ti ta. I'm going to play the higher note at the end. Two, one, two, three.
Now we're gonna bump that up to Allegro. Okay. try it one more time okay and we're gonna do we're gonna swing it okay so this is a well some of you this will sound totally fair and normal but what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the eighth notes to swing eighths okay so instead of ta 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 ti ti ta 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 anytime you see eighth notes you're gonna think doobie right Ta 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 do be ta 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 do be do be ta ta do be ta 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 do be ta ta do 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 It's a lilt. If you're having trouble with it, you don't have to. It's just more for a little, more for our jazzy folks. <laughs> okay. A one, two, a one, two, three. Some of you are going to have some trouble with that one, but that's the one. You got this. And the last one for the day, we're going to get to the bottom of this page. We're going to do number 92, which is a skill builder. Okay. It is in 3 4, not 4 4. Okay. It is moderato. It's got a lot of slurs and a lot of finger movement. For that speed, okay? Does have a repeat? Pay attention to the key signature because this is a G major one, or sorry, excuse me, and a concert F major one. So it has that new key signature. So it has F sharps, for example, for trumpets and clarinets, E naturals for trombones. Okay? I'll give you a bar and one. One, two, three, one. slurring the ones that are slurred and actually tonguing the others, right? Like in measure three. Slur, tongue, 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 tongue. It's not a bad idea to actually say through an exercise, right? Tongue, tongue, slur, slur, tongue, slur, tongue, 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 slur, slur, tongue, slur, tongue, 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 right? getting used to adjusting your mouth. And just saying it like that slur, and you say slur whenever a slur starts, and you tongue all the other ones, right? Tongue, slur, slur, tongue, slur, tongue, 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 okay? And the last thing I want you to look at is number 93 on this page, okay? And 93 is gonna be different for all of you. And for trumpets and trombones and all of you brass people, this is a big, this is a big one. This is a big uh, uh, bugling exercise here, okay? It's a lip slur exercise, right? <laughs>
No tongue, all air and lips, yeah? Mostly air. Or our um, <clears throat> flutes, right? Um, you have a whole bunch of this exercise for um, breath support and phrasing. To, 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 right? Uh, it's all about getting through those phrases with nice, smooth, connected um, uh, phrasing. And our uh, alto saxes, you have a thing for learning how to do the alternate fingering for F sharp. Yeah. So you should have a look at that for sure. So you can figure out, um, it actually asks you to use the alternate fingering instead of the classic one, just to get you used to knowing how to get to that fingering. And our clarinets, you also have alternate fingerings for F sharp. Ooh, you have shoulder buttons. Try it out. <laughs> it uh, it uh, it makes getting to F sharp a lot easier in a lot of different situations. Um, whatever it is that you have for your instrument, check it out. It's super helpful. It's super important. Um, you guys have a good weekend. Um, and. Uh, Miss you guys. <laughs>